For many houses on Fairfield's beachfront, there's nothing left to protect from today's storm. Whole houses have been washed away. Owners of other houses were a little luckier. The whole first floor is flooded with mud. We had to get rid of all the furniture, all the appliances, our tenants. They can't move back. And now just what they didn't need, a new storm hitting right as many were just coming to grips with the damage from Sandy. We've just been meeting with the insurance adjusters. They found things that I didn't know, like warped floors and things like that. And, so and here's what we're worried about. Seawalls like this that have been torn apart by last week's storm now make roadways and houses more vulnerable. And those houses like this one that have already been battered and weakened by Sandy now are going to face high winds again. We have uh, storm shutters on the front of the house. We've left those down. We basically left the house the way we did uh, for Sandy's arrival. Keep the boards up and hope for the best. And they're already up, so. They are up. Yep. That's one less uh, thing to worry about. For this storm, the whole beach area is still secured by the National Guard, and this time around, there's no evacuation order, but not many people can live in their houses right now anyway. In Fairfield, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.